So we have a project right now, and it's going to um, simulate uh, in a real theater. A theater for this one, we have nine row and ten columns, and uh, this the small theater. Uh, we're going to do the ticket ticket system. You can purchase a ticket either by price. Like if you go Las Vegas, you will see I want the show uh, by a hundred dollar under two hundred something like that. So you can purchase a ticket uh, based on the price, or you can purchase a ticket uh, based on the seat you did you prefer. But either by price or by the seat, we need to create a ticket system for this theater. So when the seat is gone, we don't sell seats anymore. We don't uh, uh, double sell a seat. So if somebody coming with the same number, I got this seat. No, I got this seat either. If this happened, that's not a good seat system. So we're going to create a, a system. Okay, we're going to create a system which is a uh, good system understand that all right so in order to have a good uh, system for that then we already start here <clears throat> all right so we already decide it has to be a uh, 2d two-dimensional array let me ask you a question right now okay we learn we learn a uh, vector is a dynamic array all right, so with this, with this theater problem, you will use a two-dimensional array better or you will use a vector, dynamic array. Anybody who is willing to um, give me some opinion? What do you want to do? What do you, what do you think you will do? Is a uh, array, traditional array, two-dimensional two array, or you will prefer to use dynamic array, and which is called vector. What do you think? Anybody? Anybody? Anyone who like to provide only some opinion? Anyone? Caesar, what do you think? Yeah, it will be a array. Will not be a dynamic array vector. The reason is, uh, theater is a fixed structure. The structure already, theater already built it up. Uh, a, a theater seat, like uh, four hundred seats, seven hundred seats, or one thousand seats. Large theater, you know, very large one at the. Uh, um, at uh, maybe Las Vegas. Uh, anyway, it's it's a fixed structure. All right. Uh, so it's a ray. It will need a shrink a, a structure. A building cannot shrink and, and and grow. Okay. So we build our seat by this way: nine row and ten column. And then after these, uh, we print the seats. We use this as array. What you need to learn this is this. When you call array, so we are going to call array. When we call array, you pass array's name, array's name. Because you pass array's name, you pass the address. And uh, the function uh, parameter here, if you just pass a name, is confused because integer sees here without this. It may be a, a integer. It may be just primitive integer. So you must include the square bracket and give the size. All right. And so at this moment, we were just able uh, to uh, to see the to find the C. Okay. That's all we need to uh, all we did.
All right. So this is your part one. Your part one. We um we uh we this is called populate. We populate arrays. After we populate array, and we display the elements of array. And because I want it to be a、uh, space in between, we can see. Otherwise, they all next each other. So I use set width. So that means、uh, these each element will have six spaces. And、uh, if I have one two number, I have four spaces, four leading space in front. Okay. So that will be your part one of this、uh, theater. Problem. We just finished the print seats. We just finished your print.